Yes, I think we've made good progress in recently, probably in the last 12 or 18 months, where I now see a number of Irish indigenous digital companies going abroad and selling abroad. And they're not just trying to do it from Ireland, they're actually getting on a plane and they're, they're going out there. And that's what's required, and that's tough, but that is what's required of Irish companies, particularly if they're selling in the enterprise space. They are required to get on a plane and actually go out to where the markets are. So recently I've witnessed quite a lot of that actually and when I was in San Francisco there in June met with a number of Irish companies who themselves have decamped out for a number of months on end um, to the states where their market might be and so we have witnessed quite an uptake in actually companies getting serious knowing and appreciating and understanding that their markets are abroad and they've got to get out there and actually meet with potential customers and clients. And I've seen an, a very positive uptake and a realisation by companies that they have to do that and they are doing it. And I think it's, it's actually showing success because those companies are now making sales internationally. I think over the last number of years, we've actually done very well uh, in that there is quite a lot of capital out there in order to finance uh, technology companies and digital companies. That's not to say it's easy actually to land that finance though at the end of the day. Obviously very positively in the finance bill last year the government announced that they would be continuing to support the indigenous venture capital sector and they've put aside a budget for the next five years to finance that sector and so hopefully we will see that money being deployed in Irish based technology companies imminently and over the next couple of years. In addition, the government have obviously provided finance to a number of international venture capital players through the Innovation Fund. And again, that money is available and is being deployed into Irish technology companies. Now that said, and it's not obviously all about venture capital at all, I mean there are strategic investors who are out there and are willing to invest in good, good ambitious companies with a global, uh, global focus and they are investing money in Irish companies. But I wouldn't underestimate the, the pain and the time that's actually been taken to secure finance in the current environment. And that's no surprise to anybody who's been trying to raise money recently. So, I mean, I would say to companies who are trying to raise finance that it is important that they get some help, that they identify the right strategic or other investors that'll suit their business, that'll help them to grow and they try to do it as efficiently and effectively as possible because otherwise you can spend an awful lot of time taking your mind off the day job of growing your business and unfortunately that probably is a characteristic of raising finance in the current environment but the right help with the right help you know can actually be invaluable in doing that Fortunately, I think we've been very successful recently, and this is probably very noticeable in the last 12 to 18 months. Um, fortunately, we have super brand names, if you like, who have been in Ireland for a number of years. More, the more t traditional technology companies have been in Ireland for many years. But if you look at the list of the companies that have come to Ireland, many of them with IDA encouragement over the last 12 or 18 months, they are the newer names, if I call it that, in, in digital. So if you look at Etsy, Twitter and um, many others that have arrived in Ireland or are currently en route to Ireland. I think we have actually been very successful, but that's an area where we need to really keep up the effort and the focus, particularly in a digital era where companies can really go from zero to ginormous enterprises in a very short space of time. I think that's where we have been spending a lot of time as a country, but need to continue to spend a lot of time trying to attract the very best of small foreign enterprises to come to Ireland because they are the next wave of the larger enterprises that we hope will stick around and create opportunity and jobs here in Ireland. In relation to how Ireland fares internationally and competitively, I suppose I have a couple of comments on that. Uh, one thing to say is probably internationally and actually within the KPMG world it has been recognised that Ireland actually now is a player in the digital space and for the first time ever Ireland has just been included in our technology innovation survey which will be launched later on this year. Uh, and that's actually a very positive endorsement coming from outside of this geography of the development that Ireland has actually made and the success that Ireland is making in, in the digital arena. In relation to how Ireland actually compares to other countries and trying to attract investment, clearly we've been incredibly successful. Um, 
there's more US investment in Ireland than there is in the BRIC countries combined, which is really quite phenomenal. And I think the challenge for us is to make sure that that remains the case. There are many countries within Europe who are doing their very, very best to try and emulate what we have actually done here in Ireland over the last couple of years. And it's very important that when companies outside of Europe are looking to come to Europe, that Ireland is number one on their list and continues to be number one on their list. In addition, and this is really important in a digital era, companies don't necessarily need to be in Europe unless we make it very attractive for them to be here. So it's important that Ireland continues not just to be one of the best places, if not the best place in Europe to invest for digital enterprises, but also that we remain as competitive as we are when we're looking at the likes of Singapore, for example. I think in order to ensure that we are a hub, we continue to be a hub for international business, it's critically important that we continue to build up our talent base here in Ireland. So it's important that we continue to educate people with the right skills to take up job opportunities within the digital area. And it's also really important that we make it easy for foreigners to come and work here in Ireland. We really want Ireland to be a really good place to live and work and do business. We need to obviously keep our eye on the ball on income tax because it is important that people are encouraged to develop businesses and to grow opportunity and jobs in Ireland. So we can't afford to be complacent there and it is important that Ireland continues to remain very competitive and a competitive place to invest and to work.